Hello. As we continue to diligently practice social distancing, the mayor, my fellow con council members, and myself will individually deliver video messages to you for the foreseeable future. According to Rutherford Board of Health, as of 3 p.m. today, the total number of COVID-19 positive cases in Rutherford has risen to the total of 15. The new resident with positive results reported today range in the age from 42 to 87. The situation continues to closely be monitored by our Board of Health. Our, member, our first responders continue to take all possible precautions with assisting our community. As of 8 o'clock a.m. this morning, there have been 81 deaths in the state of New Jersey, aging in the range from 30 to 98. The 30-year-old person was a Bergen County resident. The number of Bergen County deaths is 18. As testing has become more available, approximately 36% of all tests has come back positive for COVID-19. This is why we strongly advise people to continue to adhere to the governor's Murphy's stay at home order. We are still encouraging any res residents with N95 masks, non-N95 masks, disposable gloves, disposable gowns to contact the borough for interested, if interested in donating them. We have had donations, but more are appreciated. We'd also like to announce that in order to lessen the strain on our small businesses, Rutherford will provide garbage pickup for businesses along Union and Park Avenues. County Executive Tedesco has announced that all county parks will be shut to vehicle, to vehicular traffic. Walking and passive recreation is permissible. FEMA declared New Jersey a disaster area late last night and plans on opening a hospital at Meadowlands Convention Center. The governor has announced that all schools will remain closed until Friday, April 17th. There will be a review prior to that date to determine whether schools should open then or the date should be pushed further back. The state has developed a jobs and hiring portal to help those who have lost their job or have had their hours reduced as a result of COVID-19. The website, the webpage, excuse me, found on the borough is a compilation of businesses looking to hire at this time. This, of course, is a fluid situation, and the borough is constant communication with county and state officials. As needed, we will be updating residents by borough website, Twitter, and Facebook daily. Thank you and good evening.